Most people's encounters with polynomial equations typically don't go beyond high school algebra and the quadratic formula. Nevertheless, these numerical puzzles are fundamental to a wide range of fields, from calculating planetary orbits to computer programming. Solving lower-order polynomials, where the variable x is raised to the fourth power, is often straightforward. However, complexities arise when dealing with powers of five or higher. For centuries, mathematicians accepted this as an inherent challenge in their work, but not Norman Wildberger. In his novel approach detailed in the American Mathematical Monthly, he proposes a more elegant method for handling high-order polynomials by eliminating the concept of irrational numbers. The Babylonians first developed two-degree polynomials around 1800 BCE. It wasn't until the 16th century that mathematicians expanded the concept to include three and four-degree variables using root numbers, also known as radicals. Polynomials remained at this stage for another two centuries until 1832, when French mathematician Ivariste Galois demonstrated why higher-degree polynomials were problematic. He showed that the mathematical symmetry in established methods for lower-order polynomials became too complex for degree 5 or higher. According to Galois, this meant there was no general formula available for them. Since then, mathematicians have developed approximate solutions. But these require integrating concepts like irrational numbers into the classical formula. Weilberger, a mathematician at the University of New South Wales, Sydney in Australia, explained that calculating such an irrational number would require an infinite amount of work and a hard drive larger than the universe. While Berger identifies this infinite number of possibilities as the fundamental issue, his solution is to discard the entire concept of irrational numbers. Instead, his approach relies on mathematical functions such as addition, multiplication, and squaring. He recently tackled this challenge by using specific polynomial variants called power series, which possess infinite terms within the powers of x. To test his theory, he and computer scientist Dean Rubin used a famous cubic equation from the 17th century, demonstrated by John Wallis, to illustrate Isaac Newton's method. Wildberger noted that the solution worked beautifully. The same principle applies to Catalan numbers, a famous sequence that describes the number of ways to dissect any given polygon. These numbers also appear in natural phenomena such as analyzing possible folding patterns of RNA molecules in biology. Wildberger explained that Catalan numbers are closely linked with the quadratic equation. His innovation lies in seeking higher analogs of Catalan numbers to solve higher equations. Beyond theoretical concepts, Wildberger believes his new approach to higher power polynomials could soon lead to computer programs capable of solving equations without needing radicals. This could also enhance algorithms across various fields. Weilberger described this as a dramatic revision of a fundamental chapter in algebra. Fortunately, none of this will appear on your next pop quiz, 